I guess this is the video showing you the sat nav on the BMW 5 series. This is 2019 model, so the sat nav is from that period. So you just go ahead and go to the main menu. You've got the buttons on the uh, your iDrive system on the uh, rotary dial and some shortcut buttons to uh, navigate all the sat nav. It changed a bit from the previous one. The previous one was more like a vertical menu. Uh, this is more like horizontal with, you know, all the main features showing, you know, like that. And then obviously you go into detail. So you've got your media here. You've got all the radios, your music collections. Um, the USB drive or CD, you can uh, download them. You can always go like with the left and right with the rotary dial with more settings here. Uh, and then just go left to go back, go left to go back and you're in the main screen or simply press the map uh, media, the menu button and you're there as well. So in communication, you've got all your contacts, phones, uh, devices, um, BMW assistance, and all the details there. With the navigation, also the screen works as a touch screen now, quite responsive. Let me just try the sat nav responsiveness. It's, you know, quite good responsiveness systems are getting better and better uh, so as you can see it's quite easy then uh, again you can you can choose like a point on the map as well where you want to go um, or simply go to the left and start, you know, searching for a new one. So let's try quick search. We've got it like that. Same lines as in the old one, but this one is uh, better now. Let's let's just try my home address. <laughs> And I will know if it's, it's if it's gonna uh, calculate the route the way it should be because it shouldn't go through city center. It should always go through around uh, to have it faster. So let's see. Yes. Yeah, so it calculated the route uh, very nice. So when you're in the sat nav mode, you've got all the. Uh, settings you can switch on instructions traffic information and see what's going on where but this is showing you as well in the other parts of the south should be showing you where the sat nav is leading basically it's not not showing everything so you can see as well points of interest maybe add the weather satellite map views yes we can zoom um, auto zoom let's try the route overview from this setting so it's zooming out and showing oh yes so we picked up the sat nav view as well now and you can close there is it gonna pick up some sat nav the satellite views no so just satellite maybe where you're further away that's it yeah I mean this in this view okay, so we can change the uh, the view like that but it's on the satellite view only works from further away view Just like I have a nice view about of the uh, of the satellite. Yeah, you added the uh, temperature as well, so it looks nice. The weather, so it's quite.
quite nice to see, you know, the weather as well on the map. So these are like new options, new additions to the uh, iDrive. It's really the best system out there. It's the most intuitive and the easiest to operate. Uh, some other like uh, Mercedes ones are still a bit of, you know, hit and miss, but they're also not, not you know, there's no problem in, in learning. Just, you know, BMWs are, are much better for that. So you've got the apps as well. As you can see, as we can pull the second screen if you want with the other features here. Oh, so you can pull the other one. And then, you know, up. So this button here, I just discovered it, but it's a good thing to know. You can't swipe up and down. You have to press here again, which is a bit uh, too uh, small to operate when you're driving. So but you can add a second view here. Got onboard computer, trip computer, media, time, efficient dynamics, driving style, flicker weather okay so maybe not flicker when you're driving but stuff like efficient dynamics is cool to have here so we're probably gonna be able to do the same from the uh, menu here let's just try something like my vehicle vehicle settings lights and all the uh, settings here doors keys you can change the size of the uh, so this is this button is on this on the uh, on the key fob it's gonna be this button here you can adjust some stuff to it open it I don't know or unlock it probably you can set up the home lights so it just lights the uh, well, I will just try it and, and later see it but you get all these options here so this was the uh, doors you can go back intelligent safety You've got the settings here for pedestrian, collision warning, speed warning you can set as well. Alertiveness. Okay, so it's helping you out as well. Parking. You've got settings for your sporting style when you set it, put it in sport mode, uh, and also the Eco Pro, so you can limit it. You can uh, switch off the uh, controls for the seat, so it, it doesn't use too much aircon. Typical stuff. Uh, typical stuff from Eco Pro BMW. Okay, climate comfort. Okay, vehicle tracking. So you can set up on your phone with the, with the app. It's a cool feature, hope it works properly. Uh, let me know in the comments if you use it, used it before, because uh, this is a new thing, I've never seen it. So maybe you know it works nice so it, you can tell you where your car is at you know in the parking lot or if somebody steals it then you could you know get it back maybe uh, easier mobile devices language 
touchpad you can write you can do stuff okay this place okay so i was looking for this one uh, because i will show you another video soon from the uh, main instrument cluster individual because i would really like to show the speedometer in the comfort mode and the uh, echo promo but it doesn't show it the magnifier yeah so this is basically standard so yeah, you can't find any extra uh, options for the digital it's a bit empty for me but it still looks cool with that screen uh, it just uh, should have more options more settings like the speedometer at least you know to be able to see uh, between the dials because the steering wheel is blocking the speedometer so uh, you can set up the display time standard units uh, sound all standard settings bmw notifications pop-ups okay software updates and you probably can get some uh, manual as well here so you're going back back contents of the main menu Okay, so we can change even the view of because it's active in the main menu it's active the, the sat nav still showing you like the views it's working so you can change it to arrows or or uh, the map onboard computer simplified onboard computer so let's see how that looks yes yeah, so we've got now more information here driver profiles oh, we can assign them to a key as well hopefully vehicle status yes yeah, so we've got all the settings oil level okay you need to start the engine add blue Feature you have to top up at blue every couple thousand miles. All the service history, okay. So everything is here, you can just check it. Technology in action, efficient dynamics. Yes, we know that it's showing you what's going on with the car, it's showing you how you are driving. Nice graphics, nice view. Okay, these four displays are the nice, cool looking. Uh, I don't know. So now we did the split screen itself. Okay, so that's how you probably do the split screen. So we got sports display, driving information, onboard computer. Everything is here, trip. owner's handbook so you can check all the important bits about the car so yeah that's it everything is nice and and easy to you know like at, at a glance you need media you need phone communication you need sat nav this is three main things then if you want something more we've got this connected drive uh, some details about you know how you're driving and you know the mileage mpg and then some notifications so that's everything there quick and easy and uh, very very good system you also have the uh, the buttons here for the radio that you have below the uh, cd play cd uh, to slot in you've got the buttons which you if you hover over just touch them you can assign them to anything so uh, you can
can let's say go somewhere if you really want to uh, on the map and say now hold the seven and it will save it as that you can go to some you know and any other function like radio like um, say contacts and you can also save it let's say you can save particular radio station like you could see also you can save a certain setting okay but you can save a particular radio station or any other shortcut to any other um, place you want to go quickly in the uh, in the i drive so i uh, so if you press this option on the uh, below the, the knob you've got also the split screen the only thing is how to okay so if you go to the right with your uh, iDrive then you can change those settings here as well uh, with your onboard computer on this side and say the map on this side yeah so that's how it works and then you've got two views uh, nicely you know side by side so it's a quite neat you know nice feature here and very easy to use iDrive and BMW's you know adding more features and still it's still very good very good to use so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one look us up